What's up guys? You're watching Forward Tech with Akon, and on this channel we talk about the technologies that are shaping our future today. In this video, I want to cover some of the highlights from the 2022 Neuralink Show and Tell Day, and holy shit is it mind blowing. If you want to hear all about the crazy advances Neuralink has made in these past couple years, stick around to the end of the video. Before we get started, thanks for watching, and make sure to like the video and subscribe for future updates. Let's jump right in. So we have a lot to unpack for this Neuralink Show and Tell Day. Before we get into the updates, let's take a quick review of how the Neuralink will work. There are three essential pieces to the Neuralink installation process. One is the Neuralink in one chip. Two is the R1 surgical robot to implant the device. And three is you. Neuralink's in one chip is a tiny quarter size chip that communicates with your phone and internet via Bluetooth. The chip has 1,024 little wires called electrodes or channels that are implanted between targeted neurons in your brain. The R1 robot will cut out a quarter size piece of skull and begin implanting the Neuralink electrodes. This will be a quick and inexpensive procedure likened to that of LASIK surgery. There is a potential to have multiple Neuralinks installed to increase the rate of information exchange between the Neuralink and your brain. Let's start by talking about the Neuralink design. There have been a lot of updates on this in one chip since we first reviewed it. In the past 18 months, the team was able to double battery life by reducing the amount of power consumed by the device. On top of that, they were able to decode neural signals twice as fast. The chip also features improvements like wireless charging at faster rates. This allows the animal patients to charge their Neuralink by doing tasks that they would otherwise do, like playing some games and drinking a smoothie. Here we can see the wireless charger built into the branch, comfortably above the monkey's head. Additionally, the Neuralink team included a 5 kilohertz band pass filter. This eliminates almost all sounds outside of what they're looking for during the action spike. They are also able to take three measurements of the spike, the left, right, and middle, to be able to determine the shape of the spike. This is going to be important when distinguishing between nearby neurons. Now, as stated several times throughout show and tell day. A key feature of the N1 device is going to be upgradability. Elon and the Neuralink team are continuously iterating new versions of the chip and the R1 robot until the process becomes seamless. Even then, they will continue to iterate. As Elon has said a few times in the past, assume you are always a percentage wrong and work to lower that percentage. The Neuralink team also told us about their plans for a next generation device where they were able to move from the original 1024 wire chip from a few years ago up to 4,096 wires per chip. And on top of that, Neuralink was able to make the chip small enough to fit four chips in one Neuralink device, giving it a grand total of over 16,000 connections. That is a 16x increase in the number of electrodes they are able to fit in one device. If we iterate that out again for the next generation of Neuralink devices, we could potentially see up to a quarter of a million electrodes for one Neuralink device. Now that number sounds a little bit crazy, so let me know what you think in the comments. How many individual connections do you think they can fit in one device? Let's move on and talk about some of the advancements we learned about with the R1 surgical robot. We had several new exciting updates about the R1 machine that will be used to implant the device into the skull. Currently, it does take a neurosurgeon to complete the procedure, but of course they are working to have the R1 robot take care of the entire process. The team is currently designing blades and other tools to begin replacing the neurosurgeon. During the event, we got a live demo of the robot installing a Neuralink on a dummy patient, we were able to see what the R1 machine was seeing, and the team explained that they developed a new optical system to avoid blood vessels, making it easier and safer to install. Additionally, though the outer layer of the brain can be very fibrous and hard to pinpoint where to actually implant the electrode, with the advancements the team has made, they are able to calculate exactly where to puncture to avoid damaging the outer brain layer as a whole. The team has shown both the ability to reduce inflammation around the implant and easier removal of the device for upgrading. In addition, to the new optical system, the Neuralink team has also been working hard to develop and iterate their needle design to get it as small as possible. Currently, the team can iterate new nail designs within an hour, and it can be modified or iterated several times a day, which, if you know anything about Elon Musk's other companies, is not surprising. In June, it took 22 minutes to create a needle at 58% yield, and now it only takes 6 minutes with 91% yield, and they're not done iterating. While the live insertion demo took 50 minutes to implant the N1 chip into the dummy, Elon says that this will be as fast as 10 minutes in the future. And Elon dropped a bombshell saying that one day for one of these demos, he would even have the chip installed himself. Now, in terms of the different software the Neuralink team is developing, they're making large strides in making this device usable without anything else but a Bluetooth connection. They're developing algorithms to recognize different hand gestures, which translate into mouse movements like a right and left click, click and drag, cursor typing, swiping, um, hand writing, 
writing, and other general hand gestures. Now, something that will be a bit different, when an N1 user clicks something, they won't feel it like when you're physically typing a keyboard, even with the haptic feedback on your phone. Instead, they will apply a visual feedback to let you know that you successfully clicked. Also, though it can take hundreds of examples, the Neuralink team was able to develop an algorithm that can decode letters and numbers by simply just imagining writing them. They did this by having a monkey trace different digits for a smoothie reward until they had enough data to predict what letter or number the monkey was thinking without the monkey needing to actually trace it. With their improvements, the team has been able to greatly reduce the latency for better cursor prediction. And when applying this to the human, the Neuralink team says no matter what language you're speaking, you will still be able to understand the person you're talking to. In the video, they said that whether it's English, Mandarin, or Hebrew, you will still understand the concept of banana. Neuralink is likely building the one language to rule them all, a language that would unite both humans and machines the language of direct thought. Because most all computers are controlled by keyboard and mouse, the team is designing a mouse and keyboard interface for the brain because it doesn't make sense for them to create a brand new interface from scratch just yet. I think in the future, Neuralink will just be able to interpret your intentions based on your thoughts. So you just see something and immediately start typing. The Neuralink team demonstrated how they're simulating a monkey's brain from the previously collected data. And as far as the computer knows, it's a real monkey. They use a simulation to train and retest software to ensure the software is safe before actually deploying it to the animal patient. Elon later mentioned that he was up to putting all of the Neuralink data on their website for the scientific community to use. And when asked about long-term goals, Elon said that Neuralink plans to make the input and output platform and other companies would be able to write software for it. This would be just like Apple's App Store or Google's Play Store, where you can download different apps directly to your device. And if we weren't already, we are now 100% in matrix territory. When asked about what bodily measurements Neuralink would be great for, Elon said things like measuring temperature, blood pressure, seeing signs of the beginnings of a stroke, or just general health monitoring, similar to that of a smartwatch. Later, Elon goes on to say that if the needles and threads are tiny enough, they can reach any point in the brain and can start accessing memories and really any function of the brain, which he is confident they will be able to do. Elon also went on to say that if you're able to record memories, this could actually be one of them. Hey, real quick, thanks for watching, and let me know how you like the video in the comments below. Give the video a like if you haven't already, and subscribe to stay up to date with the future videos. Let's go ahead and jump right back in. While the updates in hardware and software are incredible, the applications of this product are mind blowing. Even though we have heard some of these things from Elon in the past, it's just insane to see this technology in action. The first of these applications that I wanna talk about is the ability for Neuralink to return function to someone with a severed spinal cord. They're able to do this by implanting the Neuralink electrodes into the spinal motor pool, which would then send electrical signals to activate the nerve, causing the correlating appendage to move, giving them the ability to reanimate the body. The Neuralink team revealed that this has already been done. As you see here, they were able to insert the Neuralink into the spine of a pig, which allows the device to both decode and write signals to the spinal motor pool, giving them the ability to make the pig's leg flex or any other range of motions. Seriously, my brain was just exploding when I saw this demonstrated. This is serious black mirror stuff. And I'm positive that by the end of 2023, they will have that pig doing karate. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, moving on to another incredible application in addition to the spinal cords, Elon and the team talked at length about the potential to cure blindness and turn on the lights, even for someone who is born blind. Elon and the Neuralink team expects this to be possible with two Neuralinks for a total of about 32,000 channels. So far, they have been able to demonstrate this on a small scale with their monkeys. The Neuralink team developed an in-house infrared sensor to accurately detect the monkey's eye movements. From here, they were able to detect what sections of the brain spike in correlation to a specific section of the monkey field of vision. The team would write a white flash to a specific section of the monkey's field of vision and the infrared camera would detect that the monkey looked away to the same spot that the Neuralink team sent the flash to, indicating that it worked. This is just why. The future of this means not only flashing full images one day or even videos, but full immersive experiences directly to your brain, bypassing your eye. Now, if you thought fixing spinal cord injuries and curing the blind was crazy enough, let me share with you the craziest thing that I learned 
from show and tell day. So for the Neuralink team to move away from animal testing as much as possible, they've been using the data that they're gathering from their R1 surgical robot to develop a synthetic material to mimic the biological environment. We see this in the form of that fake brain that was used inside the dummy for the R1 implantation video from earlier. This new synthetic material has helped improve the robot's ability to insert the electrodes. Now this is the part they were super low-key about and I haven't really heard anyone else mention it and it melts my brain so I'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments below. But they said that they wanted to scale this synthetic biological material to include tissues, bone, and one day to be able to make a full body. We have a super long wish list for our proxy of the future, but some of those items include a surgery proxy with integrated soft tissue, brain, bone, skin, or even a whole body. Like what? Are they gonna be printing bodies? Will you be able to use your Neuralink to upload yourself into this new body? Could you put an artificial intelligent consciousness into a synthetic human body? I really wish they would have elaborated on this one a little bit more. And maybe I'm blowing it all out of proportion. So just let me know what you think in the comments. And again, if you haven't already given this video a like or subscribe for my future videos, make sure you do because I have plenty coming out. Now, of course, like most all of Elon's events, this show and tell day with Neuralink was primarily to convince the best talent to come work for them. Elon said multiple times in the event that the team is already doing everything necessary to move from a prototype to mass production of these N1 devices and R1 surgical robots. Elon expects that this is going to grow exponentially from hundreds to thousands to millions of devices. Elon mentioned in the beginning of the presentation that they will be opening up a new facility in Austin, Texas for production of their N1 chip. I wonder how long it'll be until they have Tesla bots working on the production line. Let me know if you think that's realistic in the comments. Elon says that the first clinical trial is going to be in about six months, and he is very serious about getting this rolled out quickly because he knows that these devices can drastically lower the cause of suffering for so many people and he believes that the device is ready for human trials. Elon is so convinced that he said if his child were to get injured he doesn't think it would be dangerous to install it at all as the device is right now. And of course as mentioned earlier Elon said that he will have a Neuralink installed at a future demo one day. Just more proof of how confident he is of the product which is just insane. This company is literally about to start mass producing brain chips. Now I read all the comments and I need to hear your thoughts below. Is your brain melting as much as mine is, or am I just like overreacting about all this? And how do you think it's going to play out? I know this was a super long presentation with tons of details, so I clearly left out a lot of information. Help me fill it in in the comments below. What did I miss? What are your favorite parts of the Neuralink show and tell day? And if you have any topics that you want me to cover in a future video, let me know in the comments too. I really appreciate you watching. And if you haven't already liked the video and subscribed to the channel to stay up to date with our latest videos, you need to. To the three people who have already liked the video, you rock. <laughs> But for real, love you guys. Keep it up. You can also check out these episodes as an audio podcast. And if you like the content, consider supporting us on Patreon with the link in the description. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching Forward Tech with Akon. Until next time.